So the fight was over a girl? Possibly. Well, that's a motive I can understand. Now, the uh, Crimson Girls. We confirmed Malloy's story. They showed recruits around campus. Uh, persuade them to sign with Central. Plus, they're a little perk for the varsity players. You know, anything they can do to help the team. Well, the behavior is shocking enough, but the blase attitude. I know. It's a complete moral vacuum. They, they don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, uh, you were right, by the way, about Antrim and Murphy. Someone is picking up the tab for their attorney and their bail bonds. The football booster club. It's amazing how much support there is for these guys in the community and how little there is for the victim. Well, that's why we do what we do. So the victim is not forgotten. Oh. You know, it's, uh, it's none of my business, but you're killing yourself with those french fries. You should talk. You smoke cigars. But I'm a triathlete. It counteracts the effects of the cigars. Jim, Annabeth, this is Oliver Kent, uh, president of Central Indiana State University. It's our new chief deputy prosecutor, James Conlon. It's a pleasure, Mr. Kent. I believe you already know Annabeth. Oh, yes, we've met. Mr. Conlon, it's good to see you, considering the circumstances. Well, we hope to resolve this in an equitable manner for all involved. Spoken like a fair-minded public servant. I expected no less. The university has always had excellent relations with the legal establishment in Indianapolis. Yeah, as a matter of fact, your predecessor was a season ticket holder. Big Snappers oh. fan. He really knew how to throw a mean tailgate party. <laughs> I don't suppose they tailgate in New York. Well, you know, Doug, this may come as a surprise to you, but we play football in New York. Tailgate, too. When all this is over, Mr. Conlon, I hope you'll be my guest at a home game. You too, Miss Chase. Well, we'll let you get back to your lunch. Yeah. Bye. Gentlemen. Was that a bribe? Well, if it was, they'll have to do a hell of a lot better than a couple of seats on the 50-yard line. <sighs> what was I talking about? Oh, uh, Cindy Robinson. Maureen's talking to her today. As soon as we know what she has, we'll sit down with Antrim and his attorney. Will do. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to return some nasty phone calls from the news media, fend off uh, demands for my resignation, and answer some hate mail. That's why you make the big bucks.